It was the sudden appearance of a warp storm at the Kaurava system's outer edge that first caught the attention of the Imperium, and not just the Imperium. After hundreds of years under the neglectful watch of the Imperial Guard, nearly every force in the galaxy would descend upon the planet of Kalava, bent only on domination and victory. Three races had long dwelled in there. The Imperial Guard, its supposed rulers. The Orc tribes of Kalava II, which the Guard had never successfully put down. And the Necron who had slept undisturbed for untold millennia beneath Kaurava III. Where the Chaos Marines came from, or how, none you can say. Did the Warp Storm bring them, or did they bring the Warp Storm? Both appeared suddenly on Kaurava IV, and in an eye blink, half the system's Imperial forces were gone killed or claimed by the madness of chaos. In quick succession, the others flocked to Kalava. The Space Marines, the Imperium's super soldiers, descended on Kalava too, planning to finally cleanse the system, both of the troublesome orcs and the Chaos Marines, the sworn mortal enemies. The Tau appeared next, not far above, on one of the planet's moons. In the interests of protecting its ordered empire from the effects of human folly, the Tau came seeking to contain the Warp Storm, and in so doing, expand the territory's border. On their moon, they built a mighty fortress, and there forged a space cannon capable of interplanetary devastation. Among the wastes of Kaurava III, the Necrons, perhaps awakened by the disruptive forces of the Warp Storm, slowly massed their lethal legions. In quick response, webway gates, long unused, flickered to life, and Eldar poured forth, ready to battle their dark, death-dealing adversaries. Meanwhile, in the shadow of an ancient portal gate, the dark Eldar slipped stealthily out of the murky depths of the webway. They would be like carrion birds, flying above the battlefield, and when all were weary from the fight, make the battlefield into a feasting ground. Last to arrive, and perhaps most to be feared, were the Sisters of Battle, holy maidens and bearers of the God Emperor's faith. They had come to cleanse the system of corruption and filth. Their faith left them fanatical, unafraid of death and solace in the cars. Nothing here was clean. All must be purged. Now, war rages anew, and only the victorious may write their history. Only the victorious will claim the planets of Kaurava.